How do you prepare 100 milliliters of a 10 part per million mass per volume solution of manganese from potassium permanganate? Some guidelines to consider are weigh masses greater than 0.2 grams to minimize error when using the analytical balance. Weigh masses less than 2 grams to minimize sample waste. Use volumetric pipettes greater than a milliliter to minimize glassware error. Use volumetric flasks between 25 milliliters and 1,000 milliliters to minimize solution waste. To determine the mass of potassium permanganate required in solution, it is necessary to convert parts per million of manganese into equivalent units of mass and volume. The factor unit method is then used to calculate the mass of potassium permanganate required for preparing 100 milliliters of solution. The first step is to determine the required mass of manganese in the final solution. From this value, the moles of manganese, the moles of potassium permanganate, and then finally the mass of potassium permanganate required for preparing 100 milliliters of solution. A mass of 2.877 milligrams is too small to be weighed accurately on an analytical balance. It is more accurate to weigh a mass greater than 0.2 grams and use a series of volumetric dilutions to transfer small mass. The simplest approach is to weigh out 100 times more sample than required and then dilute the solution by a factor of 100. The simplest and most accurate method to perform a dilution is to dissolve the calculated mass of potassium permanganate in 1000 milliliters and then transfer a 10 milliliter aliquot into the final solution volume of 100 milliliters. This approach minimizes glassware error associated with small volume pipettes and volumetric flasks. However, solution waste is greater. To minimize solution waste with a slight increase in preparation error, a 500 milliliter volumetric flask and a 5 milliliter aliquot could also be used for the intermediate step in this procedure. Weigh the approximate mass calculated on a top loading balance. Tear a clean dry beaker and slowly roll or tap some crystals into it. To minimize waste, do not weigh excessive amounts. Use finger cots to handle your weighing vessel so no oil is transferred to add weight. Use an analytical balance to get a more accurate weighing. Tear the vessel. Use a scupula and microspatula for transferring the crystals. The scupula is for larger amounts. while the microspatula is to add small amounts. Weigh out as closely as possible to the mass desired. Add enough distilled water to completely dissolve the crystals. Stir with a glass rod to help with the dissolving. Use a funnel to pour the solution into a 1000 milliliter volumetric flask, or if capable, just the glass rod holding it against the spout of the beaker. Make sure the tip of the rod touches the inside of the flask neck to control the flow. Rinse the beaker quantitatively with sufficient solvent. Do this repeatedly until all analyte has been transferred to the flask. Make sure that the stirring rod and funnel, if used, are rinsed as well. Add all washes to the flask. Add some distilled water. When the flask is approximately half full, give it a swirl to mix the water with the solution. 
Continue filling with water until just below the etched line. Add the water dropwise with a pasture pipette until the bottom of the meniscus curve is sitting on top of the etched line. Stopper the flask, invert, and swirl. Check the meniscus. If needed, add a few more drops of water. Recork the flask, invert, and swirl. Do this at least 15 times to make sure that the solution is homogeneous throughout. Remove the stopper and pour some solution into a beaker. Take a 10 milliliter pipette and deliver the aliquot of solution into a 100 milliliter volumetric flask. For further instructions, review the pipette technique video. With a funnel, add water and dilute to volume. Add the water dropwise to set the meniscus. Stop at the flask, invert, and swirl. Do this approximately 15 times as well. Let's review the steps. Calculate the mass needed for your solution. Decide what glassware is to be used. Weigh out on top loading balance the approximate mass. Weigh accurately on analytical balance. Dissolve the potassium permanganate. Transfer the first flask to be used in the dilution using the glass rod to pour. Dilute to volume, invert, and mix at least 15 times. Pour some solution into beaker. Take aliquot into pipette, add to second flask, dilute to volume, invert and mix. Now you have your 10 part per million manganese solution.